Now, one thing I don't see people discuss an awful lot when it comes to gear is the iterative changes that companies make over time without necessarily changing the names of the products. I've got a couple of strand hogs here from First Beer, and uh, since these are pretty much my favorite bits of gear, quickly go through what they've actually changed. So on my right here, we've got a really early gen strand hog that was part of the very first batch that were actually sold publicly. Then we've got one here on my left that I purchased literally a couple of weeks ago, representing all the changes, iterative improvements that First Beer have made to the platform. Well, they haven't actually called it, you know, a strand hog two or a 2.4 or whatever the hell they want, you know, gen two, whatever. Some things have changed and, uh, you know, they'll. These are some key, fairly key changes that might matter to a few people. So we're going to run through them now. Firstly, this is a sappy cut for sappy armor plates. This is an MBAV cut, which is why the shaping at the top here, you've got more of a tombstone shape to the sappy, where it's more of a rectangle overall on the MBAV. Uh, I went for the MBAV purely because it just gives you more of a overall space essentially you get more pals compatible slots with the mbav it's, it's just larger for the same size of armor also this one is a small because i used to be skinnier than i am now and then then over here we've got a medium so starting off on a pretty simple one and probably the biggest change overall that's easily viewable the cummerbunds so i'm going to crack these open here with the tubes early cummerbund fully lined with spacer mesh you got closed cell foam pontoons on top and bottom, making a channel down the middle. Latest gen, removed all the space and mesh. You've just got plain cordura here, and this is some really super smooth, low profile loop Velcro, and then you can use the Ragnar liner pockets or any pocket with hook to attach radios, magazines, whatever, on the inside of your cummerbund. Uh, obviously a lot of plate carriers build radio pouches, etc., either onto the sides of the front plate bag or onto the inside of the cummerbund here. With this, it's modular, so you slap on whatever pouch you want, and that's that's on there. Also on the earlier one, adjustment, it's just like so. You got a laced shot cord system, hyperlon loops, and then tighten or loosen that as desired. On the newer one, it's kind of hard to show you. Basically, you've got elastic and, and uh, hook and loop, so you've got this enormous field of elastic that's holding them in, and Essentially on the inside, I'm not even going to try and take it all out and show you. There's just hook and loop securing it all in there. And that's what actually holds it together at the back and inside the back panel of the plate carrier. A couple of minor material changes while I remember. You've got the, the jacquard weave webbing on here. Anything that's webbing, it's jacquard stuff. On the, on the latest generations, on the older ones, it was the dyed webbing. Um, the dyed webbing looks better, like a better representation of the pattern at first, but it turns white and fades really quickly. The Jacquard stuff doesn't do that. Uh, it's not as accurate of a camo representation, but it just stays with its color and it doesn't bleach out in, in within literally a few hours of usage like this, uh, this dyed stuff can. Uh, also on the multicam ones, at least, the loop areas for integrating extra armor pieces on the older ones, wasn't color matched. Now it is in multicam. Pretty minor detail there. Another example on the drag handles, grab handles that you've got at the back of each each back panel at the top there. Webbing changed. For your armor storage on the earlier versions, literally you've only got one access point into each plate bag. And it's the same at the front, so sewn in there and then you've got hook and loop to get in for your armor storage. On the newest one, we've got opening there for, since that's you know closer to your body on that side, that's where your soft arm is gonna go. And then another opening with adjustment for the hard plates. Same at the front, hard plate away from the body, soft armor closer to the body. Then as far as your side plates go, on the older one, it was basically just a, uh, a Cordura lid, as it were, on the inside of the cummerbund. So using the 612 hook and loop, and you just put your plate inside there, your side plate, and that's just a removable flap that would go over the top of the plate. On the newest one, they've changed this quite a bit. On the newest one, we've got this removable side plate holding piece with an elastic retention. Velcros onto the inside of the cummerbund, and then you've got 
a lid that will go over the top of the plate and then corresponding inside the cummerbund got a hook piece that's going to marry up with all of that and hold your side armor into place in there obviously i've just thrown that in now um, then that's repositionable so you can adjust where exactly your side plate is held within the cummerbund other than that you've still got your tubes made of the same plastic they have been really good strong stuff you still got your 612 which is 500d cordura laminated with one wrap type of loop on the inside which is good really like this stuff really strong the spacer mesh front and back inside the front and rear plate bags great with the pontoons the closed cell foam love all of that nothing else has changed uh, same nice heat shrunk paracord pull tabs on all the tubes so yeah um one last thing i didn't mention about the cummerbund is that they also added this piece that sits behind the female portion of the tube and that completely closes the window of soft armor that you have with the older generation i put these together there so as you can see when laid out the uh, the tube is exposed on the older cummerbund which means you have an armor gap this now your soft armor goes up inside all the way to the very edge and it will actually overlap the front plate bag like so and that is the last difference that i'm aware of whether there's any other minor changes i could have missed potentially but those are the main key differences so as you can see uh, despite having the same name they've changed a fair few things improved taken on customer feedback over the years and uh, it's you know just even a better plate carrier now than it was when it first came out still highly recommend them i think this is an incredibly well constructed piece of gear a lot of thought innovation nice design gone into it check out first beer check out the strand hog and their other carriers all of my social media is down in the description box below please do check that out guys and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you next time. There's a, there's a big piece of elastic 